With help from the community, all of the animals at Dorchester Paws found emergency foster homes during Hurricane Adalia last week. Before the storm, the shelter reported it was above capacity with animals and asked the community to adopt or foster to make room for any animals that needed a little bit of protection during the storm. And our Madeline Jeskoyak joins us live in Dorchester County this morning to share a follow up on more of that good news. Good morning, Madeline. Good morning, Shelby and Katie. I, I do have some good news to share. Dorchester Paws tells me that out of the 180 dogs and cats that were storm fostered, now 21 of those pets have been adopted. Last Wednesday morning, Dorchester Paws evacuated their campus to prepare for Hurricane Idalia, and they urgently needed help from the community to place their animals in homes where they would be safe from the storm. Genuinely, if it wasn't for the outpour of support from our community, uh, I don't know what we would have done for the storm evacuation. Uh, we posted on uh, Tuesday evening that we were going to need to evacuate. And by Wednesday morning at 10 a.m., there were cars lined down our driveway. Um, it took us about three hours to get all 180 animals out into storm fosters. Uh, so we were super thankful for those community members that opened their homes and their hearts to take in an animal. Uh, give them a little bit of a break from the shelter for a few days, um, but definitely keep them safe during the storm uh, and away from the flooding. Dorchester Paws is the only open admissions shelter in all of Dorchester County. Fullwood says that every lost, stray, abandoned, surrendered animal in all of Dorchester County comes to them. She says that in times of need, they rely on community support as far as fostering, adopting, and keeping their shelves full with dog food, cat food, and other supplies. So we didn't sustain any flooding damage. Um, however, we did have to go back through and sanitize um, all of the kennel spaces uh, because they did flood during the storm. So we were able to get that all deep cleaned before we accepted uh, animals back here on site. We wanted to make sure that it was safe for their return. The shelter is hoping there will be more adoptions of those animals that are still in the foster homes. Reporting live in Dorchester County, Madeline Jaskowiak, Live 5 News.